Hey guys, it's me Smile again and I'm going to showcase you how you change your BPM inside of the Psych Engine. This is the Psych Engine by the way. Ignore that the notes are off off center, it's because I'm using like a modified version, but it works with any kind of Psych Engine whatsoever. It's pretty simple. It has to do with the section, um, change BPM and oh, yeah, which BPM you really want to have. For an example, look at this uh, and you will maybe even notice that there is a BPM change happening. Yeah, if you haven't noticed, it actually changed the BPM, like literally uh, mid-song. This uh, might not be really obvious in the chart menu, but if I go inside of the song, it will be pretty obvious. Let's go to basically this part, which is 123 seconds. If I go there, it will be pretty obvious. Uh, the song didn't sh start, now the song started. Skip, man. So 125 is basically, or 123, actually it's not this part, it's a bit higher. I, I made a mistake, it's over two minutes. I accidentally... So two minutes, basically. There it happened. You notice the chart looks a bit faster. It's because of the BPM change. Like how you have to make your input happen. And faster. Of course some of the scroll speed gets increased too, but majorly you have to tap faster because of the BPM change. <laughs> that well, that line is still funny for me, but uh, yeah, like I said, that's how you basically change the scroll speed. By the way, always keep in mind, if you want to change it, firstly, in, uh, like uh, higher up the BPM as to how much you want it, and then make the check mark. Leave the chart menu, basically pressing enter to leave it, and come back to the chart menu. Most of the time. After that, it should update it to the yeah BPM you set it up to. Sometimes it just doesn't work on like the first try. Like I said, it's a really weird thing that it not always works on the first try. Again, the it's the psych engine. It's not. It is stable, but it's not the absolute most stable version of the engine. It's like an older version of the psych engine anyway. It's like the 0.6.3 or something like this, if I remember correctly. Like the version before, yeah, 0.7 basically. You can also do this in the no newer versions, by the way. This option doesn't disappear in the newer versions. It's still there. You can still do the same thing. It doesn't really matter. As long as this option in the section menu is available you can change your song like the bpm mid song it's that simple since it just barely changes anything like barely changes bpm that's why it's almost not visible whatsoever but it happens for an example if i go uh, oh god i really have to play this is 210 Here, since the scroll speed doesn't really change, but the BPM actually still changes, it's a bit faster, your inputs, that you have to give in. Because the BPM is faster. Also, I'm not good at this part. Yeah. Hey, why'd you stop? 
<laughs> I also love how it restarts there. Hmm, the song uh, after transitioning. I don't know why it does it. It does it just. Like, it just does it. It's a psych engine thing. A classic one. It doesn't really break anything. It's just a funny aspect of the psych engine. But yeah, like I said, this is how you basically, yeah, do a BPM chain. It did change. It uh, Like, since it's just basically like, firstly, a 15 BPM change, like I showed there, just a 15 change. And later on, it's just, yeah, a 10 change. It won't be too noticeable. That's why I also changed the scroll speed to make up for it. Basically making it a bit more apparent that also something changes right at these points. And of course this is like a stressful thing in the sun. But yeah, you get the point what I what I was trying to say. This is how you basically change the yeah BPM mid song. And I hope this kind of helped you to understand which option you have to use. But yeah, like I said, so like uh, I'm not sure of uh, if every charter knows about this option, but I'm sure some charters actually know about the change BPM thing and how it works. And if it, if they didn't, this is the perfect tutorial that you can showcase to them how the uh, how this works. But this is mainly for the psych engine. I don't know really about the Kate engine. And for an example, if you want to make like a BPM thing that changes constantly as the song goes on, like even inside of the section, most of the time I think you have to basically just, yeah, uh, make a code for it that changes it uh, like uh, either instead of, for an example, every yeah major section, I think it has to do it with like the Kerr beat, which is, by the way, this one. Yeah, this is the Kerr beat. It says step, but it's the Kerr beat, how you would type it in a code. So, yeah. And this would be painful to code and would probably lag out your game. So, the best thing you can actually do is change it either manually, every single section. Yeah, change it manually to make it work. By, by also pressing this one after you change it because this one just confirms your BPM change. So yeah, like I said, this one is a really important box you have to check. Otherwise it doesn't work quite right. Like I said, I hope you like it and I hope to see you in the next video guys. Bye.